Emergency planning zones are a structured approach to allow public safety officials to make decisions to protect the public in an emergency. They're based on sound science and research performed by the EPA and other federal agencies. The focus on the 10-mile emergency planning zone is to protect the communities that are closest to the facility. Public safety officials would make decisions based on conditions to either shelter in place or to evacuate, or a combination of both. Those same public safety officials have the flexibility that, if the event were to be prolonged, to make the same decisions beyond the 10-mile emergency planning zone. Emergency preparedness programs enable state and local officials to rapidly identify, evaluate, and respond to a wide spectrum of events. Their plans are integrated with the nuclear power plant plans. Because the nuclear power industry is regulated, these plans are very structured. They are founded on four emergency classification levels. The lowest being the unusual event, the second is the alert, the third highest would be the site area emergency, and the highest, the most severe classification, would be the general emergency. The benefit of having a structured approach such as this is to enable the responders, both the power plant responders as well as our state and local responders, to know what actions they're going to take based on the classification level. These plans have been matured over decades. We have very good integrated training programs and evaluated exercises. So there's a constant interaction between the power plant operators as well as our state and local public safety officials. When we have drills and evaluated exercises, both the power plant and the state and local response organizations take whatever they learn from their performance to constantly try to improve their capability to protect health and safety of the public.